we already discussed that the energy stored in an inductor is in the form of magnetic field. So when current passes through an inductor, it produces a magnetic field and the energy stored in the inductor is in the form of magnetic field. So when current is changing across an inductor, the power delivered to the inductor is given by P equals IV. But we could also represent the potential difference here as the magnitude of the self-induced EMF. And remember that another expression for the self-induced EMF is LDI over DT. So here I'm just focusing on the magnitude of the self-induced EMF. That's why there's no negative sign here. So when I plug this expression here, power is equal to I times LDI over dt but remember that the definition of power is just the rate of energy delivered or supplied by a system so i'll just plug this definition here l i d i over dt so i have du equals l i d i so integrating both sides I'll have an expression for the energy stored in the inductor, but since this is in the form of magnetic field, this expression is actually the magnetic field energy. So L is constant. I can take this outside the integral sign. My final expression is U equals 1 half L I squared. And this is the energy stored in an inductor. Let's now derive magnetic field energy density U sub M because this will facilitate our discussion of electromagnetic waves. So as the name implies, when we say magnetic energy density, it is equal to magnetic energy divided by the volume enclosing that energy. We already derived the expression for magnetic energy which is this one. So I'll just write it here, 1 half L I squared. And we divide it with the enclosing volume. So one of the easiest systems to calculate the uniform magnetic field and at the same time calculate its volume is a solenoid. So let's look at the simplest source of uniform magnetic field with measurable volume. I'm talking about the solenoid. So let me represent this solenoid with a cylinder so that we can have a clearer picture of its volume. The magnetic field inside the solenoid is uniform. And if this solenoid has a cross-sectional area of A and a length of L, then apparently its volume is A times L. So again, when we calculate the magnetic energy density, we will just calculate the volume of this cylinder. And technically, the magnetic field outside the solenoid is zero. So there's no point in calculating the magnetic energy density outside the solenoid. I emphasized earlier that the energy possessed by the inductor is contained in the magnetic field. So I want to convert our expression for magnetic field energy density in terms of magnetic field B. To start, let me rewrite this expression here. So I want to get rid of this constant here. Recall that the definition of self-inductance is L equals N phi over I. So I can plug this here. So I'll end up with N phi over I times I squared over 2 A L. So this becomes I and this becomes 1. I now have N phi I over 2AL. Now phi here is the magnetic flux and recall that the definition of magnetic flux is the dot product of magnetic field vectors to the area vector. Now in our system, we have this cross-sectional area and the area vector is actually parallel with the magnetic field vectors inside the solenoid. Therefore, since they are parallel, if I try to rewrite this in terms of magnitude, we have B A cosine theta. But 
since the area vector and the magnetic field vectors in the solenoid are parallel with each other, then this is actually cosine 0 and I'll end up with B times A. And I'll plug this expression to the magnetic flux. Let's find another expression for the current so I can get rid of the current in this expression. Recall that the magnetic field inside the solenoid is equal to mu naught ni and this small n here refers to number of turns per unit length. So this is actually equal to mu naught n here is capital N over L. Capital N is the number of turns and L is the length of the solenoid times current. So let me rewrite this in terms of current. I'll have I equals BL over mu naught N. So I'll plug this to our current to get rid of current. Number of turns cancel and L cancels out and A cancels out. So our final expression for the magnetic energy density is b squared over 2 mu naught. Now, in our derivation, we assume that the solenoid contains a vacuum. That's why we arrive with this expression. However, if there's the material inside it, then our expression will be just in the form of 2 mu. Here, mu refers to the magnetic permeability of the material. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching!